let's talk about how these platforms handle dynamic content, blogs, directories, portfolios, case studies, stuff like that. Webflow CMS is surprisingly powerful. You define custom content types called collections, create template pages, and your client can edit entries without messing up the design. It's structured and visual to use at the same time. Framer now has a CMS too, and it's good, but it's not as deep. You don't get things like reference fields or multi-reference relationships. It's fine for blog posts or portfolios, but anything relational like categories or filtering, it kind of starts to fall apart. WordPress, to be honest, wins this chapter hands down. It was literally built as a CMS. So custom post types, taxonomies, user roles, scheduling, filtering, permissions, everything is native. Or you can just install a plugin like ACF to get everything to work. And if your site is content heavy, WordPress is the best choice compared to anything else in the market. But great power comes with great responsibilities. So you'll need plugins like ACF or Metabox to create advanced layouts. And you need to go deep into understanding PHP or hooking into filters. It's powerful, but there can be a learning curve. To learn more, click on the link below to check out the full video.